Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you, depending where you are in the world. We are here in London live. It is 8 p.m. on a, I have to check, Wednesday afternoon, evening. Um, we're reading, it's our nighttime devotion. We're reading from Lift Him Up, the devotional. The title today is the king is coming luke 21 28 and when these things begin to come to pass then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh christ had bidden his people watch for the signs of his advent and rejoice as they should behold the tokens of their coming king. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. He pointed his followers to the budding trees of spring and said, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand so likewise ye when you see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of god is nigh at hand but as the spirit of humility and devotion in the church had given place to pride and formalism love for christ and faith in his coming has grown cold absorbed in worldliness and pleasure seeking the professed people of god were blinded to the savior's instructions concerning the signs of his appearing the doctrine of the second advent had been neglected the scriptures relating to it were obscured by misinterpretation until it was to a great extent ignored and forgotten Especially was this the case in the churches of America. The freedom and comfort enjoyed by all classes of society, the ambitious desire for wealth and luxury, begetting and absorbing devotion to money making, the eager rush for popularity and power, which seemed to be within the reach of all, led men to centre their interests and hopes on the things of this life mm -hmm. and to put far in the future that solemn day when the present order of things should pass away. When the Saviour pointed out to his followers the signs of his return, he foretold the state of backsliding that would exist just prior to his second advent there would be as in the days of noah the activity and stir of worldly business and pleasure seeking buying selling planting building marrying giving in marriage with forgetfulness of god and the future life for those living at this time christ's admonition is take heed to yourselves lest at any time your heart be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that day come upon you unawares watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man we are to contend most earnestly for the faith once delivered to the saints we are now to unify and prepare the way for our coming king let us increase in the knowledge of the truth and render all excellence and glory due to him who is one with the father let us seek most earnestly for the heavenly anointing the Holy Spirit.
The king is coming. He is not here. He has not been here only when the time he was born and when he died on the cross, that's when he was here. He hasn't come back. He is coming. The Bible says there will be signs. Jesus said to his disciples, there are signs that need to happen before I come. And when these signs have come to pass, then look up. Remember the Bible says, I'm not, I can't tell you where. The Bible says, every eye shall see him and every knee shall bow. And every tongue confess. So when Christ comes. And he will come in the clouds. Every eye shall see him. Every eye. It's not going to be a secret rapture. As some like to think. As has been told by the media. There's no secret rapture. That's a fallacy. Every eye shall see him. He will come in the clouds. Keep that in mind. Let no man deceive you. Jesus is here or Jesus is there or Jesus came 800, 900 years ago or 600 years ago. Whatever. Jesus isn't here yet. The Spirit of God is with us. But Jesus is not here yet. He is coming and in our lifetime. But there's plenty of things need still to happen before he comes. We're very close.